All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushah, Ba'ashem Rekaku Das. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shish Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I'm going to go in this article and this topic, Black Lives Do Not Matter in Israel. Okay, it says, Israeli state and religious authorities Racist attitudes towards African refugees may have deadly consequences. Okay, now you might have some uh, Hamites, okay, in the midst of uh, these people, okay. But they, these um, devils, they try to group us, okay. Anybody who live, who, who um, looks black as if they're Africans, okay. Which they got to pay for that shit, man. Okay, um, let me just read some of the article, okay, and I'm going to get into some scriptures, okay. It says, comments made by Israel's top political and religious leaders earlier this month are a dismal reminder of how little black lives matter in the country and how African refugees remain in mortal danger, whether or not the government plans to deport them is temporarily su suspended. On March 17th, one of Israeli, I mean Israel, two chief rabbis, Yit Yitzchak Yosef, called black people monkeys, in the Hebrew equivalent of the N-word in his weekly sermon. It is highly unlikely that Yosef will face any real repercussions for his racist comments. He was not demoted after saying in a similar sermon exactly two years ago that all non-Jews, Africans, Arabs, and otherwise could only live in Israel if they agree to serve the country's Jewish population. Okay, it's unclear if Yosef's recent comments were directed directly connected to the Israeli government's impeding, impending Expulsion of approximately 40,000 African refugees, mainly Christians and Muslims from Eritrea and Sudan. Okay, now a lot of uh, people in Eritrea are um, Israelites. Okay, now the people that are um, uh, Sudan, okay, and in, the, that, in, in Eritrea also are uh, Hamites. Okay, um, it says the government has already coerced more than a third of the African refugee community in Israel, over 20,000 souls to return to Africa. Israeli journalists have revealed in recent months that the government's promise, promises to secure status for them in Rwanda and Uganda were only a ruse devised to de deport them back into, the stateless, into a stateless existence with their ostensible acquiescence okay to be fair racist comments from state paid rabbis aren't exactly a rarity in israel israel other chief rabbi israel law used the n-word to describe black athletes on his very first day in office on in july 2013 okay so they still calling our people niggas and you know they don't want to, uh, they don't want our people over there, okay? Um, but, um, black lives don't matter, okay? Or Israelite lives don't matter in, um, Israel, okay? Okay, now, I'm gonna get this, Revelation 2 and 9. I know thou works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, okay? This is more so going to... Okay, the ones that know this truth, okay. Um, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Okay, and that's these uh fake Jews, okay, especially you know, these uh top chief rabbis, okay, they're they're part of the synagogue of Satan. Okay, which these um Jewish people or people um who call themselves uh Israeli Okay, they're um they're they're of the devil, okay, they're the synagogue of Satan, they're they're uh, Amalekites, okay. 
Um, this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead you. Okay, calling us African or black. Okay, and niggas, those are all proverbs, bywords, and, uh, uh, and you know, they, they look at us as an astonishment, you know, they, they, they don't, you know, they don't, um, like our people, okay, Jeremiah 49 and 12, for thus saith the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, okay, and that, um, goes into, how our people are being oppressed, okay, and, and uh, catching all this hell, okay, meanwhile, you got, um, these, um, these, uh, Edomites, okay, that are, um, oppressing our people, okay, and getting drunk, okay, and they, they, their, um, you know, their philosophies, thinking that they, they are the, um, the, the real uh, Jews or the real Israelites or is whatever they want to say, which they're not, okay? They they basically telling a lie, man, okay? And that wasn't their uh, their judgment to to, to 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 necessarily be our people, but that's how how things played out. It says, and art thou he that so altogether go unpunished for all the wicked stuff that they did, okay, and they're still doing. It says, thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it, okay? So all the fruit of their doings, they're going to have to pay for that, okay? And these Jewish people, okay, they're, they're um, you know, they, 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 they're not going to get, they're just speaking what the government already uh, believes and all the, all the other so-called Jewish people, okay? And I'm going to get this. Ezekiel 25 and 12, thus says the Lord God, because that Edom has dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and has greatly offended and revenged himself upon them, okay, and that's that uh, expulsion, okay, you have Judah, Benjamin, and Levi over there, okay, which really not, you know, it's not the best place to be at in the world, to you know, if you were Israelite. Okay, going over there. Now, you see these people got, you know, the Hebrew and everything like that. Okay. It's not the, the, the best thing to, to, to be over there um, in that land. Okay. Because they, they, they just going to try to kick you out. Okay. Um, and, and offend you. Okay. They, they, they don't care about you. Okay. They, they, they want... Um, the Israelites out of that land, okay, so that they can be in that land, okay, and it's and they're getting them out, okay. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will stretch out my hand upon Edom, and that's who they are. They're Edomites, and I will cut off man and beasts from it, and I will make it desolate from Timnah, Timon, and day of the dawn shall fall by the sword. Okay, it's gonna be a World War uh three and World War Three, they're gonna get caught up in that, man. Okay. It says, uh, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Okay, the same ones that you know they kicked out, okay, in the kingdom. If they are Israelites, they're gonna be they're gonna be fucking them up. Okay. They might even have have a situation where um, some type of uh, war, which these people are holding up signs and stuff like that. They might even go war against them. Okay, over there in the, in the land. Okay. It says, and they shall do an Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, save the Lord. God. Yeah, how about some of y'all saw? Okay. So, that's the, that's the, the truth, man. These, um... Edomites, these Am Am Amalekites, okay, they're going, they're going to get that judgment, okay, because they, they, they think that we're niggers and you know, whatever else uh, they want to throw on us, you know. But you do have a lot of our people that are proving them right, okay. But for the most part, the the fucking uh, these devils gonna have to pay, man, for for more for that uh, 
you know, the wicked shit that they're doing, okay? So with that, man, you know, I'm going to put the article in the description box, okay? It also says Net Netanyahu might not be losing sleep over local opposition to the deportations, okay? So he, you know, they don't care about what they're doing, you know? So with that, man, I want to say shalom until next time.